4th of July to all my Americans out there. And if not American, happy 4th to you also. It's all good, baby. So anyway, coming at you all with a little treat that I found. Um, one thing that's real big in the keto world is Halo Top ice cream. Well, how's that, Kroger? Uh, that's where I go to shop for my groceries. And I found on the, you know, the end aisle, the end freezer, this right here. Low cal light ice cream. And this is by Kroger. It's their organic brand. Uh, so, this is what I want to show you all. The taste test, have a review. Let's look at these macros. Macros, 60 calories for half a cup. It's not bad at all. One and a half fat, not bad. It's 12 carbs, but there are eight, uh, eight carbs you can take out from the sugar alcohol and the fiber. And here's the ingredients list, which I was giving a look over, and there's a lot of stuff on here that you wouldn't find in the Halo Top, but you know, whatever they do to get to a means end, I guess. But one thing of concern is they have Malatol right there, or Malta, Maya. That right there and that has a uh, pretty high glycemic index for artificial sweetener but besides that I mean you know I don't know what some of this stuff is I'm sure it's for texture purposes kind of like the chicory root fiber actually that's probably the fiber uh, let's see here I think else looks weird I don't know what a stevia glycoside is but that's whatever but yeah Get a little taste test. See how this is. I've had it out so I can make sure it's not rock solid whenever I eat it. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. You know the funny part was is uh, this is the mint chocolate chip, but but they also have vanilla, strawberry, lemon cake, uh, salted. Uh, sea caramel, sea salt caramel, there we go. So pretty much the same flavors as Halo Top. Um, so, I mean, I guess there's only so many flavors in the world you can use. Oh, there's also lemon cake and birthday cake. But, you know, those are pretty much almost the same name, same flavor as the Halo Top. So, it's whatever. But let's try this out. Let's, let me get a close up of this texture. So here's that, here it is. See there's some chocolate chips in there. And well, it's not super hard by any means, so yeah. Let's test, let's taste this. Doesn't come out like normal ice cream, but hey. Still looks pretty good. All right. Here goes the taste test. Hey, that's not bad at all, actually, and that's pretty good. I'm not, a, and I'm not a big huge mint fan, but yeah. Hey, let's try this. Mmm. It's right here. Not bad at all. So, if you want to get something a tad cheaper, hey, try the low-cal, the low-cal light ice cream. You know, I, I'm in Southern Kentucky, Bowling Green, uh, so I had it in my store that I go to. I told a co-worker about it. Man, she went to another Kroger and they didn't have it. So it's hit and miss, I guess. So it may just be rolling out slowly, but it's there. It was $3.99. Um, so that's a dollar cheaper than Halo Top. But also the Halo Top was on sale, so it was the same price and you know I think Halo Top is probably has better quality ingredients, but you know, at the end of the day, ice cream is ice cream. It tastes good, it's low calorie low carb um, you fit that into your macros into your carb count you'd be good to go nice treat 
end the day or to celebrate not cheating through the week, doing you know, whatever, whatever you do. Fireworks are going nuts out there because you know America. So that's that's all I got. You want to try it out? Go ahead. Four dollars. You won't miss it. That's like two strip two trips to Starbucks if you do that. Is that your thing? I just get normal coffee whenever I go. I like my wife. Karma macchiato lady. But yeah, good stuff. I recommend it. See you later.